Hi and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2015 and a half RPOD 178 floor plan. Uh, one of the first cool things you'll notice on the RPOD product is going to be its unique shape. It's not your typical square box RV. It's got a nice rounded shape to it. It's more aerodynamic than most RVs. On the front of this coach you have a place to put a battery or you could do two batteries if you want as well too. Uh, you've got the lower diamond plate rock guard here on the front. You have a single 20 pound gas bottle. You have a place here to put a dump hose. You've got scissor jacks on the front and rear of the coach. It's got safety chains, manual crank up jack, it also has a uh, place over here which basically has a breakaway cable on it, seven way Bargman plug. It's pre wired for solar panels for ZEP if you wanted to do a ZEP solar panel system, that is an option. Uh, you've got a hitch light on the front as well, too. One of the cool things on the 178 floor plan is outside storage. It has more outside storage than some of the other models. You've got a huge storage compartment here on the front. Also another nice feature, you've got uh, magnetic door catches here. Deep tent, safety glass windows. You've got a radius top entry door with a screen door here. Single entrance step, large folding entry handle porch light, two outdoor speakers, got your TV antenna up top there, You've got aluminum wheels, this particular camper was ordered with the optional riser kit, which is basically a spacer block here, raising the camper higher off the ground, that is basically to give it more ground clearance, so when you're going in and out of places you're less likely to uh, bottom out the rear of the camper. Got another large storage compartment here, goes all the way across. You've got uh, outside electric outlets here. You have the black tank flush here, which basically just hook your hose to that floods and rinses out the toilet tank. On the rear here is where the ZEP solar panel system would plug into if you ordered that option. You've got LED tail lights and running lights on the top up there in that black fin. And you can kind of see the optional low profile air conditioner up there as well too. Spare tire on the back is got a cover that comes with it. Also this spare tire can slide out of the hitch back there and basically you can slide in a bike rack. They have an option for a bike rack if you want that but then you have to find some place to put your tire. Uh, you've got your license plate holder here, rear scissor jack, storage door on this side. The unit has a slide out which works by electric motor or you can manually crank it in if the electric were to ever fail. Other side of the storage here, got your detachable power cord, your tire cover there, and in the green bag is the R-Dome awning, which is an option. Uh, so please make sure when you're comparing prices that those features are all there, because not every dealer orders them the same. Uh, you've got a six gallon gas electric water heater here. Basically you got your drain plug, you got your place here where the heating element is, in case it ever goes bad. Electric switch right here for the on-off electric portion. Reset breakers, the pressure relief valve here to relieve the uh, pressure. Basically this door just flips up. It's got a little catch here to actually latch it. You've got your satellite and cable hookups here, city water hookup, portable water fill. You've got your furnace exhaust here. You've got your one of your drains here as well. Down below there is a low point water drain down there. Uh, right behind the tire, there's two of them. This has the uh, outside utility shower, so you've got hot and cold water out here as well. Got your refrigerator panels for maintenance right here also.
Then you have another drain valve right down here as well. We'll take a few minutes to walk you through the inside of the coach. Going on up into the RV here, basically you've got vinyl flooring, you've got a fire extinguisher here, you've got your electric box with your breakers and fuses, you've got some little uh, cubby hole storage here for like movies, DVDs, CDs, things like that. Uh, you've got the optional 19 inch LED TV by Jensen. Uh, it's on a swing arm so it'll swing around so you can actually view it from the bed as well too. You've got the DVD AM FM CD stereo system here. Also has a USB hookup here, slide out button, porch light button, water heater on gas, water pump, monitor panel here, black tank, gray tank, kind of check everything out here. Uh, you've got uh, remote controls for the TV, remote control for the DVD stereo system. This unit has a three-way refrigerator. You push a little button here, it opens it up. Basically, you've got a refrigerator, and then you've got a little freezer here as well, too. Basically, you've got an on-off button, you've got an electric button, a gas button, a battery button, and then temperature control button. So it's pretty simple and easy to use. This unit has the optional convection microwave, so you can cook or microwave both with this here. Has a two burner gas stove top. Got a high rise faucet here with a nice little sink cover, single sink. You've got uh, some storage space below the sink here. Couple drawers here. Full extending ball bearing drawer guides, nice little catches on them, and nice size handles. Got an electric outlet back here, place to kind of put some stuff on the counter. You've got an uh, overhead cabinet here with a little shock on it. Got a nice window here that opens as well, too, so you can get some ventilation in here. On the rear of the coach here, basically you've got your queen bed. Uh, you've got a ground fault electric breaker here. There's storage underneath of there. Furnace is under there as well too. Emergency exit window. Nightshades. Another window here that opens also. You've got a uh, little hanging closet bar here if you want to hang up some clothes. The camper has uh, smoke detectors as well, propane leak detector down here. The optional 13.5 low profile BTU air conditioner up there. You've got really nice LED lighting in this coach. Got a nice table as well that can be used outside or inside that makes into a bed also. Uh, electric outlet down there on the side of the dinette. Uh, in the big bag there is the optional RV cover. You have to talk to your dealer about that, but that is an option available as well if you want a cover to keep it nice and clean. You got a couple speakers in the ceiling here as well too. Got a small bathroom in here. Basically, you got a locking door handle. You've got a toilet, little shower area here, sink. It's got a nice turbo exhaust fan up here, LED light in the bathroom as well, too. Got your shower curtain here, some nice little holder catches here so you can put stuff in. But basically, you got a wet bath. Uh, on the wall here, you've got the thermostat, which controls the air conditioning, the furnace, and the fan on the air conditioner. 
Uh, you've got basically an on off button switch here to kind of walk yourself through the different features. Uh, if you try to turn your furnace on and your air conditioner fan kicks on, turn the fan on the air conditioner to auto so it shuts off. Uh, if you've got it in high or low and you try to power this up, the fan on the air will automatically kick on to circulate air. Uh, if you get it in Celsius mode instead of Fahrenheit mode, that's done by hitting these two buttons at the same time to change it back and forth. Uh, just some little tips there. Again, this has been a video on the R Pod 178 here at Jeff Couch's RV Nation. Please check out our RVs. If you got any more questions, please contact your salesperson.